Five seemed to be the magic number on November 7th in the Ward 6 City Council race. Sean Patrick McCoy challenged incumbent Sandra Vasica. But something happened today that no one saw coming, a dead tie. Originally, there was only five votes that separated the two candidates. And I've never heard of, um, number one, I haven't heard of a tie in Missoula County. <laughs> and number two, um, it's very rare. Uh, I thought it was next to impossible to come back from a loss and um, at least like and make it a fighting chance. The Sika petitioned for the recount, which happened Wednesday. While initially falling behind McCoy by five votes, the recent recount shows the Sika and McCoy tied at 1,476. I, th I don't think anybody would have predicted that we would result in a tie today. Um, and my personal feeling would be to lose by one vote or then rather than have a tie. Um, but that is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Now that the municipal election and recount are over, the Ward 6 seat is in the hands of the Missoula City Council. For Missoula County Elections Administrator Bradley Seaman, the race is a message to voters that every vote counts. Well, I think it's so clear. Every ballot counts and every vote counts. Um, I think that the next area is that it's hard to get information. And so for voters who may have voted for the mayor but not voted for city council, as we look at that, it could be that it is lack of information about what city council representatives do, how they impact you and your community. And it's one of our biggest hurdles that we struggle with in elections is getting out information that is accurate. There is no set timeline on when the Missoula City Council will make their Ward 6 appointment, but we will keep you updated. In Missoula, Catherine Rowley, MTN News.